So guys, uh, madness now. Um, I've literally just, <laughs> I've just got to save a song. And uh, apparently my Amiga hard drive is now full with all the songs I've been putting down on there, look. So now the only option I've got is probably to save to compact flash card. What a mess. Damn. Okay, the way I see it at this stage, I've only got a couple of choices. One, either save to a compact flash drive uh, and transfer all of my songs onto the compact flash drive, which could be a good idea. Or um, delete all the games that the uh, WH load came with. But I'm not sure if I un uninstall. I don't play games on there anyway. But it's nice to have a little retro collection, um, you know, for when you do. Like, I'm in lockdown now. I could easily go on there and have a mess about Um but I may need to transfer all of the songs to a compact flash drive and then go again maybe for convenience and then just load them off the compact drive, flash drive, as of when I need them. Bit of a bummer really, but yeah, um, at least I can do that. Looking at my compact flash card, I can see that it's 4% full already, which is quite a lot considering on there I've got one, two, three, four, five. Ah, there's a, oh yeah, there's a backup of songs as well. Oh no, there's not. I just done that, done that silly me. Um, it's only got a few songs on there. There's some Jungle Breaks part one, which I've already put together. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so here's, here's the plan. So I've got all my songs here now. And, ah, it says here, look, you've got 938 megabytes. So there's like, one gig and what does it say on the card that card's more than one gig so something strange is going on here so i'll probably have to look that up all right so let me go copy okay so it's copying 700 songs man look at that bloody hell there's a lot of songs i've been a busy guy a busy boy mate busy busy all right let's just see what happens so the card apparently has got 938 megabytes on it so it's just under a gig. Wow. It's probably time for a backup of all this stuff anyway. So I'm going to let that copy It'll probably take a while, old school and all that. And I'm going to look up uh, compact flashcards and see why there's a four gigabyte card. Why it's only reading as 938 megabytes. 934 megabytes on, on, on the card. So maybe you've got to do four partitions. There you go guys, still copying, it's got to 609 now out of 700 items. Guys, that all copied and is working totally fine. Uh, that song that you can hear in the background is running off the card at the moment. So I'm going to have to come to a decision as to whether I'm going to just keep the card in there and save to that from now on. And uh, But I might just delete some games, man, seeing as um, I don't play so many games. Comment down below, let me know your ideas. So guys, tonight I'm configuring my HXC emulators. Uh, for those who don't know, I've got a little service uh, where I basically configure HXCs um, and I ship them out. And they're Akai ready. Uh, you just literally just have to pop them in, in, in your Akai. And uh, I also sell them with a library as well. Uh, I actually enjoy doing this. It's like electronics. I've got all the kit here to do it all. So I thought, well, why not? So many people are asking me for it. Uh, so if you want, just uh, follow the link in the, in the uh, Samploys website. And uh, yeah. Give me some work to do. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, and basically this is what needs, I need to put a screen on this, I need to put a dialing button, um, and I also need to uh, flash it so it's ready. I set all the jumpers up as well, so it's ready to go straight into your Akai. Uh, so what you do is you just take out your floppy, pop it in, and away you go. So quite a few guys have been asking me about it and stuff, so I decided to just do the service myself, and they're coming out real nice. Hello guys, today I'm being roped into doing the garden. So I'm gonna do some work in the back garden. Yeah. She's on the phone, so it looks like back in the man cave. I found me a partner! Oh, what's this? Oh, wait. 
All right, it's supposed to be kicks and snares. I can sort them out. It's a foot drum thing now. Go on. Look at that fat Amiga beat, man. No way. Eh? In it. Uh, and, uh, it, it looks like there's some other stuff there as well. There you go. God. <laughs> Here we go, mate. What label was this? Big City, isn't it? You can hear the beat in the background. Ecstasy. Come on. All the vocals are there. And then... Eh? Yeah, you can take it. Seven, you can take it out. RX7, right, let me make a note of that. Ecstasy. Oh, this is sounding bad as it is now, man. Damn. Ecstasy. Oh, my days. There's stuff missing, I don't know why though. But this is, I've got to save this man, before we lose it. Yeah, there's another part to it. See, there's a version, 144, it says. Wow, man, look. You, see, you know what's mad though, you know what's, looking back. Do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, sometimes when you look when you look back, yeah, you think of tunes like this. Yeah, you look at the whole thing. You listen to production. Now you've we've matured and all that. We we was onto a roll there, you know. See what we done there? We were supposed to just like carry on with that formula. Formula there, you know. That shouldn't have been a one-off tune. That should have been like at least ten tracks, man. You know, you realise between between that vibe there and between Gary and between Owen, you realise that is a clean up potential there. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know. We should have mopped up that whole thing there. Listening to this tune here, this is strong, man. Like for what it was back in the day. Yeah. Especially when I listen to you on this one here. Yeah. Every time I listen to you on this one, right, I just get a little rush. Yeah. I, I get a little rush because it, it was bad. I could see man skanking to this. Yeah, man. I was just listening to that. And it, everything, the music, it's got like, even though it's a sample piano, it still sounds good. It's like, if you, when you check out... When, when you think about, remember tunes like, imagine, remember Bizarre Ink? Yeah. This is like a B-Tech Bizarre Ink, when you look at it on that tip, because it ain't got the full commercial sing-out business, but it, it's got that strength to it, when you listen to it. The, if it had the vocal in the middle, some guy had vocal in the middle, between Gary, it would have. Yeah. Or well, that could have even been Owen or something, you never know. Yeah, we had the formula there, man. We just didn't like, didn't, didn't like go for it, go for it, go for it. I mean, I think, I think Percy obviously heard something in this track, man, before we released it. And then, as well as that, there was the EQ, you know, full production on this with like college degree equalization and studio and proper recording of vocals. You're talking like more likely a, a, a top twenty track, you know, like back then, back then. Because back back then tunes tunes like this were charting, man. Hardcore tunes were charting. Trip to Trumpton, Smarty, Sesame Street, Bizarre Inc, playing with knives. 